Welcome to Sailing Kuru. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button. Ria and I have set out to circumnavigate our planet in our sailing catamaran Kuru with no sailing experience at all. If you like our content, please hit that little bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. This week it's all about getting to that party island everybody talks about. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, true. It is still very, very warm today. Check this out. Thirty-five degrees Celsius at six twenty-two in the evening. Nice, right? So we're waiting here. Um, Coro is all nice and clean and shiny, and we're waiting for Christine and Petra to arrive on Coro any minute. Today's Christmas Day and this is Santa Claus. How do you like my game move? The your uh, one hundred different gimbal no the second one i mean what what is the difference between this gimbal and the other one besides this one is Here, bigger we can use the the fluffy thing all right yeah. we should cut the hair of the fluffy thing Today was such a cool day. Uh, we left Estreng in the morning, like eight o'clock, uh, to sail to um, Santa Ponza, like 30 nautical miles. So we knew there was not a lot of wind, but we only have this, this small window to go to Ibiza on uh, Thursday morning. So that's why we left early. And then it all started with uh, the autopilot not working again. We had this problem before, so we had to try to fix it and to hand steer. And then we stopped at Port Adriano to fill up our water tanks. Santa Ponza is a very protected bay in the southwest of Mallorca. It provides shelter if you have to wait on a good weather window to cross over to Ibiza. Good morning everyone, it's day two in Santa Ponza and we're waiting for a uh, good uh, window weather to cross over to Ibiza and um, really looking forward to this, very excited to, uh, to see Ibiza, it um, must be beautiful, that's what people are saying. We're moving Anchorage, it's getting kind of windy here, which is not a problem, but we want to go swimming today. So. Um, on our morning run, Christine and I discovered a beautiful little bay. So we're going to move around the corner to, I don't know the, the, the name yet, but I'll let you know. That was just the best part of the day. I had a nice shower in the fresh water and we are getting ready now to sleep because it's early, it's uh, around 9 p.m. But we will leave for Ibiza at 3 a.m. 
Good morning. We are wide awake and it's like past 4 a.m. and we are going to Ibiza. <laughs> it's so cool. Night tables are the best. I mean, it's pitch black and you can see all the stars and the Milky Way. And also the, uh, the cargo vessel right behind us. We just had to dodge that. But apart from that, it's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, the, the stars are out. Uh, as Ria said, you can see the Milky Way and everything. It's a bit rolly and we don't have the wind they promised us um, on our weather app. So um, we're motoring. That's a bummer. Christine and uh, Moni are sleeping and uh, they're on at five o'clock. It's oh, already 15 minutes past four. So um, yeah, we think we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna sail about 10 hours um, over to Ibiza. So uh, we decided to go early that we, um, that we'll find a, a good spot to anchor out. I wanted to stay this way Nine hours till it beats out. Our sail over to Ibiza, apart from these beautiful creatures visiting us, was uneventful. We had no wind at all and had to motor again. I feel like I'm saying this a lot this season. Well, nevertheless, we were back where we feel free. Out there at sea, where nothing else matters and you live in this very moment. Good morning everyone. Good morning. So, um, I just woke up from my beauty sleep. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we're still motoring. Our weather app, uh, we have to, I don't know, get rid of it, maybe. <laughs> so there's still no wind. We have uh, three knots of wind. We're about three, two and a half hours shy, right? Two and a half? Yes. Okay. But it's, uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here. And, and you can see Ibiza. Ibiza, look at this. So um, I'm just recording my thought of the day or thought of the morning. Um, I was just uh, thinking about how, how cool it is, you know, how far we came in such a short time. So it's a constant learning curve and I really love that. It's everything, every day is a new day and new things to learn and um, it's really challenging and I love the challenge because it like keeps you keeps you aware and on top of that I have to say I mean Ria was never the, the sailor who you know knew everything or it didn't come easy to her you know also in the sailing course and I'm so super proud of her of what she achieved you know like everything is going so much easier for her now and yeah I'm just I'm just very proud proud of you baby We have seen many stunning places in our 12 years of traveling our world. This kind of beauty we did not expect from this island. This is why we decided to quit our corporate jobs and sail the world. This is exactly what we're looking for whenever we pull up anchor and sail on with no anticipation but high hopes that the next place will be even more beautiful than the one we're leaving. And I can tell you one thing, we've never been disappointed so far. Welcome to Ibiza. We uh, stranded here. 
We uh, tried two colors before we found this one and we're quite happy about this. It's a beautiful color with uh, absolutely stunning rock formations, I have to say. Everything looks so gorgeous here, but honestly, I always thought that Ibiza has more people. <laughs> like, like, yeah, party people. So, is anybody out there? I don't think so. Maybe they're gonna show up a little bit later on. <laughs> yeah. But nobody showed up, so Ria and I went for a little dinghy mission. Bye mom, bye dad, <laughs> bye bye. the restaurant the what the restaurant hole in the wall when you say that oh yeah hole in the wall was um, was a very famous restaurant uh, in Roatan that little island we used to live for a couple of years and uh, it was very famous for their lobster and burgers I think yeah burgers as I well it, right? yeah and uh, it was just um, it was just reachable by boat, so you had to have a friend or or you had to pay someone to actually, you know, like get you there to that restaurant. And it's, it was just super cool. It was just an old rotten jetty and someone put a, a, a little hot on it and um, it was it was super funny. Was that the restaurant with all the t-shirts? It was, yeah. <laughs> so um, everybody or a lot of people just left their t-shirts instead of like uh, a one dollar bill or a bill from your country you know from from your country's currency so everybody just left their shirts and they <laughs> they hang it on the ceilings yeah exactly so yeah true we just saw so many jellies i don't know how they're called in english they they call them light Okay, yeah, maybe fire jellies, and and they really, I mean, one got me really bad, but a couple of weeks ago, right? And it still does look like the brain of the jelly I have on my arm now. It's a super hot day again. We arrived in Ibiza today. We're in this beautiful cala we showed you already, and um, yeah, right now we're just like seeking shade. Everybody is like trying to escape the sun a little bit so we rigged some towels and shades and whatnot so let me show you guys <laughs> are outside watching Ibiza girly movie so I made them uh, some fresas con nata and uh, cold coffee iced coffee and uh, I'm gonna bring it out now they're watching the movie
videos are made with love and are dedicated to everyone who is not yet ready to cut the lines and sail off into the sunset. To everyone who seeks adventures and dreams of pure freedom and endless summers. To all of you free spirits and wandering souls, see you out there.